All right, so I am a bit out of my element today. So you should recognize that there's JP videos. So we are actually in Rochester, New York. He, uh, he dragged me up here. So, but uh, we're gonna be exploring an abandoned uh, subway system here in Rochester. And I'll tell you more about the history of that as we get down there. So hopefully we can get in there. Um, we had a little trouble finding parking here. So um, I'm not used to being downtown. But we'll see how this goes. So, and we got some other people here. Um, Richard Dremden Wolf is the name of his channel. I'll, I'll put it down in the description. Uh, as long as I remember, I'll try to do that. They're from Ohio, actually, so they drove up here as well. So we're gonna get going. This should be. Hopefully, this is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. It's a long drive. I drove up to Scranton to JP's house, and then we drove the three and a half hours up here to Rochester. So, as you can see, I'm not in my normal habitat in the woods, but uh, we're going to fun though. Sit down there in the distance is where we're headed. But there's a, there's a homeless camp over here too, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't run into any issues down here. But there are four of us, so we should be okay. Do you see the, the hole down there for the tunnel? Uh, so here we are, into the gaping hole. All right, so I go ahead and get my lights set up on my camera and <coughs> head on in. The very entrance of the subway tunnel here, you can see it's littered very much with graffiti. Oh. But I'm gonna take a quick break here. All right, here we go. Lights on here. Well, now it kind of opens up. Look, like the flower. Wow. It's pretty huge down here. Yes, this tunnel does date back to the 20s. I think 1926 they built this. And they used it for passenger service until 1950s and I think for freight until much later and now it's in its abandoned state down here this is pretty awesome it's almost like the turnpike tunnels a little bit not quite though and of course we got some shopping carts There's some cool architecture up there too. The columns. Look at some creepy looking graffiti down here. That's I'm not sure what that is, but <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it's pretty spacious down here. Look at that graffiti over there, though. Some people actually have a good hand. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, so this place is wide open. You can just walk right down here. 
kind of interesting because that's where we came in from down there. You know, a lot of times these places are closed off, but if you do come down here, just be warned that uh, um, some people live down here sometimes. Oh yeah, there's one right here. There's the railing. So he is, JP is trying to get up there. Oh, now he's got to come, come back down. There were some steps up there that used to lead up to the street level, so that's what this was right here. Ah, uh, that's a shame. No falling. <laughs> Ooh, there's a little cubby hole. Hey, there's like a suitcase in here. <laughs> so, like we've seen earlier, they, especially during the winter, there are homeless people that live in here. Not that homeless people are all bad, but you know, it is what it is. Some of them are in desperate situations, so leads them to do certain things sometimes. Not all of them, but just, just give you that warning if you do decide to come down here. All right, but hey, I could live down here. <laughs> nice little one room apartment down here. All right, I'm losing my people. This place, this is like a huge cavern down here. Oh really? Yeah, we have to find this manhole cover that goes down to it. And pull all this tunnel. I think it's this section. It could be the other one, but I think it's huh. some more interesting graffiti over here. Oh yeah. It's kind of interesting. Not quite sure what it's portraying, but Yeah, so this just keeps going on and on. I didn't realize it would be this big down here either. You can see in scale to the other people. windows to the outside world up there. That's where we came from, all the way back there. It just keeps on going. Yeah, I still like these columns. Now some of them point out, you can see kind of, like this is a, a subway, so they would have used you know, electricity. So that's probably what those are for. Insulators along the columns. They have a 20, 20 look to them, I think. Yeah, it just keeps on going. Haven't encountered any, anybody else down here yet, so. Homeless or otherwise. Sleeping bag up there. Anybody up here? Hello? Is 
that go anywhere? No, it's capped off. Does it look like it went up to the surface? Yeah, it, it would have gone up to the surface. The stairs continue up. Okay. But What's that lump there? I don't know if I dare lift that up. <laughs> Poke at it. It's not a person, is it? I don't think so. Hello? No, it looks like it's somebody's stuff. Yeah, it looks like stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, it's not a dead body. <laughs> no, that's what, another thing I was worried about, too. Came across something like that not too long ago at the mall. For right now. All right, let's All right, so apparently it's safe to come up here. So these have been steps that led up to the street level at one point. But as you can see, someone made it their little home. We were just checking to make sure it was safe. But, uh, so yeah. Yeah. I mean, so if you had nowhere else to live, this wouldn't be a bad spot, maybe. All right. Let's head back to. Yeah, so we're not alone anymore. There's some other. Flashlights up there. Looks like there's an entrance up there, actually. Yes, that is an exit up there, but there's something rooms over here too. Well, not rooms, but... Just another side. Oh, there's some old windows up there. Some other people over there. Yeah, there's actually some of the old uh, subway rails here. Going off there and then off this way too. These are the first rails we've seen down here. Cool. At least this place has exceeded my uh, expectations, I believe. There's one of the homeless ones. Oh, yeah. This way, continue down that wall is capped off the remainder of the section of the tunnel. That's near my wall. The rails keep going right into it. Wow. This is. You're not too far away from the exit up there, but there's a. JP yeah, found a baby, baby stroller. stroller. <laughs> yeah. Fixer upper. Yeah. No wheels, it looks like. Yeah. One on this side, that's it. Well, oh, there goes JP. Oh, I almost. We always got him falling. Oh, Not, <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. I think there's a, a river up here too, the Genesee River. Is up here. Oh uh, yeah, so here's what this new section looks like. If you can hear the sound, that's the river underneath us. That's looking back where we came from. So this area would have been the subway that comes out of the ground back there. Now it goes over the river. The Genesee River here in Rochester. That's so pretty cool. Yeah, there's the rest of the crew. There's JP taking pictures of me.
Yeah, so there, there's actually a road above us too. I think it's called Broad Street. This is actually a road up here. The old subway is underneath it. I do want to try and get up here to see the river down below. Somehow. And it looks like it uh looks like it goes on that way, cool. So I climbed up, and this is the view. Cool. So that's the Genesee River out there. Pretty awesome. Just looking back in the tunnels. Awesome. Yeah, so I just climbed up there. I was able to look out over the river, so that's pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna continue on into the depths. Let's see if this goes. I already lost them, so I gotta catch up. Cool. It's really awesome down here, so I'm glad I came along. Everything about here is cool. Even over there. All right, time to head back into the dark. So this is Richard. We're going to take a little side route instead of going the main way. So, we'll see how this goes. Alright, so here we go. It feels sturdy enough. where it goes. Just watching my step here. end up down there. That's pretty cool down here though. The others will walk around that way. And Richard's all the way up there already, so. Looking out the river again. And over there is where we were earlier. And of course, there are big stinking holes in the thing all the way up there. So I'm kind of walking along the edges. So. Oh boy. Yeah. More nice gaps in the walkway. Richard's all the way up there. Sheesh. All right, let's do it. All right, well, I got past this last part, and you're rewarded with this view. I almost missed it, but uh, Richard told me to turn around and check it out, so I was so relieved to be off that platform. I almost passed this. That's cool. Like I said before, that's where we were earlier. That's neat too, right there. All right, now we'll join up, back up with the others here. All right, your turn. Yeah, I'm going up now. <laughs> 
And right over here is basically the end of the tunnel, it's as far as we can go. It does continue on past there. You can see uh, some lights on there, but we can't get back there. So. Yeah, I'm just back where that opening is again. It's just awesome, so many different shots going off in the distance there. We got a little friend up here. Mr. Pigeon. Hello there. We're just even walking up this little tunnel takes you to the outside world here. It kind of smells like hot dogs down here. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, so back in there is where the tunnel would continue. Yeah, the park is all locked off. Yeah. Now. Can't see anything but lights on on the inside. That's the water down there. Yeah, so you come out this little side passage. You're out here. Cool. It's loaded with all kinds of seagulls out there and stuff. Yeah, so right over there is the tunnel, the subway tunnel. It's, it's kind of uses the bakery right now, but JP reminded us like part of the subway used to be part of the Union, uh, not the Union Canal, but the uh, the Erie Canal. And that's what I think these tunnels are for, because this tunnel over here, you know, still has the water in it down there. So these are probably original tunnels or segments of the Erie Canal. But parts further in were turned into a subway. So cool. Well, that would account for the old stonework here then. All right, so we are gonna be heading back through the tunnels here now. So I hope you've been enjoying this so far. That's actually been really fun so far, seeing all this, walking through these tunnels and seeing all the history and stuff. So, all right, we're gonna start heading back. Um, I don't know how much filming I'll do on the way back. Because it'll just kind of be the same thing we saw on the way here. So, but if, if we come across something more interesting, I'll show it to you. So, so we're almost at the end and found this creepy thing. Look like it's a taxidermy deer or something like that. I don't think it was here when we first got here. Somebody must have dumped it. I don't Well, right, definitely. Yeah, discovered something on the way back. Seen better days, but all right. So right up here is the exit, so I will see you out there to close this video out. They're still back there looking at that, that deer or whatever it was. So, all right, time to head back into the, into the real world. All right, so that is it for this video. So it's Richard down there finishing doing his outro for this trip. So this was, turned out to be a pretty awesome experience actually. You know, never been here before in Rochester. Well, I'd be close to Rochester, but I'd like to thank JP for bringing me up here. So like I said earlier, it's exceeded my expectations. So really awesome. Not just walking through the tunnel, but getting to that area. That was like the bridge over the river. That was awesome. So. Lots of cool shots. So if you do come here, um, try to come here with a friend, walk with someone, because like I said, it could, you know, depending on who's down here, it could be dangerous. So we did pass a couple other people walking through the tunnel as well. So this is in Rochester, it's right under Broad Street. 
Um, I couldn't tell you exactly where some of the entrances are because I'm not from this area. So I know there's one right near the library. So, um, but totally, totally awesome. So thanks for coming along, and uh, we might stop somewhere else here in Rochester tomorrow. Anyway, I'll see you around. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you do want to see Richard's video and JP's video, I will have those hopefully linked down below. Either the video or their channel linked down below so you can check those. It's always cool to see someone else's perspective. Alright, see you.